Oh, yes. The Cadillac 3 from their Legacy album. American Slang is the song that rounds off the show tonight. And I'm playing it especially for Ollie S in Doncaster, who says, I, I got into country music because my granddad and my mom. Over the years, it developed. And my favourite artist is Jill Andrews. Saw her for the first time. Took me six years. Last Wednesday, and it was amazing. Well, I'm glad I played her for you this evening, Ollie. And thanks very much for everybody for all the messages that have come into the show. I'll see you again next Thursday evening at nine. Meanwhile, Trevor Nelson follows the news on Radio 2, on the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 10 o'clock. This is Nikki Cardwell. The Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, has told the BBC that he hasn't ducked the difficult decisions as he outlined £55 billion of tax rises and spending cuts aimed at mending the nation's finances. Mr Hunt announced a freeze in income tax thresholds, meaning wage rises will not feel as generous and help with energy bills will be scaled back so the typical household will pay £3,000 from April, up from 2500 Labour said Mr Hunt was picking the nation's pockets, but speaking to the BBC, he defended the measure. We've had a, a once-in-a-century pandemic. We've had the fuel price hikes caused by Vladimir Putin. And I think a, a responsible Conservative government says we want to help people. We need to give more money to the NHS. We need to keep businesses afloat with a furlough scheme. We need to help people with their energy bills. And we're not pretending that you don't have to pay for that. The business group, the Confederation of British Industry, says the Chancellor deserves credit for delivering stability and protecting the most vulnerable, but argued that he should have done more to stimulate growth. Chairman of the Federation of Small Businesses, Martin McTague, agrees. There was precious little that we could see on growth. He's missed an opportunity. When you look at the last two recessions that we've gone through, most of the recovery has come from the small business sector. He needed the help of small business owners to try and get out of this mess, and I'm afraid he, he let them down on a few fronts. Royal Mail postal workers are to walk out on strike for another six days in the run-up to Christmas in an ongoing dispute about paying conditions. It includes the 23rd of December and Christmas Eve. The European Union has warned that Russia's latest missile strikes have pushed Ukrainian energy infrastructure towards crisis point. Millions are facing power cuts. A court in the Netherlands has found two Russians and a Ukrainian guilty of murdering the 298 people on board the Malaysia Airlines flight MH17. The plane was shot down by a Russian missile in 2014 as it flew over Ukraine. The three men who were tried in their absence were sentenced to life in prison. Russia denies any involvement. The Australian Soap Neighbours will be back on TV screens next year. It was cancelled in July after 40 years on air because of dwindling viewing figures. Amazon's free streaming service, Freevee, which is supported by ads, has signed a deal to reboot the show. The TV critic Scott Bryan says it's good publicity for the platform. I guess Amazon thought, well, what is a better way to advertise something that we've got than to just basically take a long-running soap? But by my understanding, it is the first time that a streaming service has taken a commitment to basically prop up a whole soap or reboot it as it were tonight's weather wet and windy for much of the country throughout tonight particularly in the north of england and scotland bbc news it's three minutes past ten thank you very much and thanks to bob harris Gotta blame it on my juice. it's trevor nelson's magnificent seven on bbc radio two tonight we're calling our magnificent seven cheers because uh we're raising a glass to the great Scott Mills after he finished walking for 24 hours on a treadmill this morning. Raced over a whopping million for children in Nice. So for 30 minutes, we'll be toasting, cheering and getting drunk off the music. Scott, if you're listening, I hope you got your feet up, mate. Oh, uh, Frank. Headshot. Frank. Sit down. Frank. Stand up. Frank. 